it's important to know how to swim because if you don't and then you're in an accident, let's just say you're on a boat and you sink, what if no one on that boat knew how to swim? You have to be that person who knows how to swim so you can keep alive. Otherwise, you're going to drown. So the YMCA, she started off a really, really low level of water acclimation. We just kind of took it upon ourselves and we brought her every day. And then we saw the growth and she jumped up to a level now in about a year and a half that she is eligible for a pre-competitive swim team. The instructors are very patient and stern. At the same time, they are not pressurizing the child where the child is like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And I was kind of worried about it with Dia because it had just taken me such a long time to get here. The Y is a great place to learn how to swim because it, the instructors are very nice. They don't force you to do anything. You're allowed to say, I can't do this. Can you help me with this? You're going to work on keeping your face in the water. They take their time to take them to the next level, which initially was a little frustrating because, you know, they take forever to go to the next level. But I think they do it the right way because then they feel the child is confident and ready to go down to the next level. So I'm very happy that Dia took her time to learn, but she's learned it the right way. And more than that, she's enjoying swimming. If we rush it and if she, they don't enjoy it, I think it's just going to pull them out really quickly. So my little one is now in that same you know, rhythm of learning how to swim. First of all, every child is different. They have their own restrictions as far as water goes and learning goes. So we have to be patient. You learn it the right way, versus rushing it and learning it the wrong way because then you have to unlearn. My daughter Dia used to cry in other swimming areas with the instructors and uh, you know just with the way they were structured and I've had to pull her out every single time to come out to swim and to learn how to swim and now I have come to a point where you know she's like oh are we going for some lessons let's go. I think it was a combination of instructors, the pool, the the consistency and it just worked out for her really really well you know I don't know how to swim and I think that's a pretty big gap uh, not just for recreational purposes like going on family vacation swimming together but I do think that it's a life skill it's like walking and there is just no second chance like you really need to know how to swim um, so yeah she has taken it upon herself to teach me now that she knows 